Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a get ready with me Q&A. So I do have a few questions that I gathered from you guys. Most of them actually pertains to my new purchases. So if you haven't seen my reveal from Cartier, I bought this beautiful ring and this beautiful bracelet. I gave my first impression. Have a watch right here. I decided to do this get ready with me because i get so many comments and questions from you guys about my skincare so i'm gonna go through some of the things that i use with you guys and also get ready at the same time i also received some new products from this brand right here merit beauty and they are a clean brand that is also sold at sephora usa canada and they sent me their entire line to try so a total of seven products except i only have six uh, because their brush was sold out. But anyway, I'll give everything a try, give my first impression. So my skin is definitely not flawless. Um, I have some freckles. These are actually called liver spots as far as I understand. So it's from not sleeping very well and probably has some to do with sun damage. My parents never taught me anything about sunscreen. They don't even wear it themselves. Therefore, growing up, I never knew that sunscreen was so important and I did a lot of uh, swimming when I was in elementary school outside and um, so yeah, that could be one of the reasons, I'm sure. I am starting to notice that my skin is definitely changing again, especially in the past year. I started breaking out a lot on my forehead and um, it's not the whole T-zone, it's more like here. So definitely forehead and here. And I know it's not from my products necessarily because I never used to produce so much oil on my forehead. I'll put a cut out right now and you're going to see that breaking out on the forehead means that I am not having the best digestion right now. In a way, it's kind of normal because I do suffer from an autoimmune disease which is usually linked to leaky gut syndrome. Any sort of imbalance will show up on my forehead which I really believe that is the main issue which i'm trying to correct but i'm also trying not to over limit myself with my diet because i'm trying to enjoy life as well so i'm kind of just playing this very fine line of <laughs> eating what i like but also trying to be careful if that makes any sense so obviously diet makes a huge huge difference aside from skincare i feel like skincare is important but not as important as you think uh, at least for me anyway, I'm not saying for everybody and I'm just sharing what I do, what I use while doing this Q&A because I know a lot of you are interested. So let's get our lights back on. I started using this yesterday so I don't know if any of you will be interested. I just bought this and I started using it on my face since I have so many areas and so many bumps that I want to do. So I was doing it while I was lying down and it's very tedious however i feel like it's working because whatever redness i had yesterday i feel like they have calmed down a lot and i've used it twice yesterday so once earlier during the day and once at night and i feel like it's really working so that's my first impression of this in case you guys are um interested this is called the light therapy acne spot treatment it is battery operated so you do have to change the triple a battery and apparently it runs out really fast so you just long press that one for one second and use it on a problem area. So I just started having a tiny little breakout right here. So I don't want it to get worse and I'm just going to treat that. So you see how there's like the blue and red light. You just hold it for two minutes, which is why I say it's very tedious. Why don't I answer some of your questions? So from Vivian Pang, wondering if you have tried the CDC Rose Gold bracelet before and if so, did you choose Gartier over it? I heard that there is an extra small size for the CDC Rose bracelet. Um, my wrist is also the same size as yours, 13.5 centimeter. I understand that it is very difficult to choose any nice bracelets for our wrists and you're right. So I did try the CDC bracelet from Hermes because that was my first choice, logically speaking, because if I can spend that money on that bracelet at Hermes, I would have spent a large chunk of the quota already on um, hopefully a quota bag, right? But I have tried it and it literally was floating on my arm. 
it was so it's done now obviously the size of your wrist but also the shape of your wrist i guess my wrists are a little bit um i don't even know if you would call them round but they're not super flat they're just more round and so they're skinnier this way in a way uh and some of the some of the width is compensated by the uh the thickness of it it's still really small because it's 13.5 centimeters uh my dominant hand um wrist is slightly like ever so slightly bigger but still it has a lot of room here and this is the love 15 centimeter and if i wore it on this hand it can turn easily if i wear it on this it can still turn but not as easily so i have to do it myself i have to guide it just to answer your question this one is 15 centimeter and the cdc or any bracelet from Hermes, the smallest size is 15.8 centimeter so it's closer to the 16 centimeter from Cartier and therefore it just floats like if I can make this turn on this wrist which is my larger wrist already um, maybe I'll put a clip I'll put a clip of when I was trying it it was literally floating on my arm I did not love the look it was still a very expensive item I still want to be able to love the item after buying it not just because i have to spend on the quota so that is why i chose Cartier over Hermes my cleanser is from the brand Devita, which i have talked about in the past Devita used to be a brand that i pretty much used their entire line but they have started changing their packaging as well as their formulas so i'm not liking everything that they have now i have switched out of a few things so in terms of the cleanser i still use it so i use the aloe vera moisture cleanser and i'll link everything down below uh, then i use their toner so i used to love their rose toner but now they have this cooling cucumber toner uh, which is okay it has a few ingredients to help clarify the skin uh, because AHA is also a natural sort of exfoliant in a way. By the way, I don't mind mixing brands. This is another toner that I found that I recently started using. I like this because it has more of a consistency that is slightly thicker. It's not quite gel, but it's not liquid, like watery as well. It's kind of in, me in between, which is kind of nice when uh, it, the weather gets warmer and you really don't need that thick moisturizer I think this will be amazing but I also like it on its own it is from a German company Anna Marie Borlin I love the sensitive line in terms of eye cream I was also trying out the Anna Borlin sensitive line for a while but it was very very light and during the winter it was kind of too light and like I said, I do mainly have dry skin, except that I'm just being super oily on the T-zone lately, which is a very weird combination because dry skin plus super oily is so weird. Uh, but anyway, the rest of my skin is quite dry, so I have started using this new one for my eyes. And I like the consistency of this so much better because it's so much more emollient. This one is from a Canadian company, Nuco. I'm not necessarily recommending all of these things to you. I'm just telling you what I'm using. And like I said, I don't mind mixing brands. I think I adapt to my changing skin. It has been changing quite a bit in the my last two years of my 30s. So I just feel like I'm just trying to f find a balance. So for the rest of my face, I started using uh, this lotion. Like I said, I've been sort of crazy breaking out on my forehead and they're not cystic. There's just very little bumps like clogged pores. Uh, maybe I'll do a close up later. So I researched online and I tried to find the most sort of neutral, even natural ingredients can be very irritating, which normally doesn't matter for me. But for some reason for, for that oily zone, it nothing works. So I've started using this, which seems to work and it's uh, quite moisturizing for the rest of my face but also doesn't seem to irritate the very oily zones this is the Aven Tolerance Extreme and um, this can be found in your local drugstore it's a French uh, brand but it's very uh, it's very common like drugstore like really good drugstore brands lip balm from Burt Bees and this is the pomegranate Lux love journey oh my god you have definitely joined the fine jewelry crew congratulations lovely choices i guess Hermes jewelry will not happen anymore i am really trying to 
make it as natural of a process as possible. So I will go in periodically. Uh, so far, I've been going every month to just see what I like and buy what I like. So I want it to feel as natural as possible while still trying to achieve that goal of, you know, pre-spend <laughs> in the hopes of uh, being offered a quarter bag. So um, I'm still being strategic, but not going too crazy. So it's not like I have to buy everything Hermes. This was in my wish list because I've done enough research. I've seen enough of it. The fit and the, um, the look really is what I was going for. And finally, uh, the thin version in the smallest size really worked for me wonderfully because I did try the classic thickness of this too. Uh, aside from the fact that it's a two piece, which I don't like, um, the thickness does not work for my aesthetic. It just doesn't. I just don't like it as much. Personal choice, obviously, you do you. Uh, but um, I'm just so glad that I finally bought these pieces because they are beautiful and they're very comfortable. I can definitely make a, a review sooner rather than later, actually, because I've been wearing pretty much 24 seven, except I removed it twice. And um, yeah, like still definitely buying Hermes, but just not everything has to be right. Today's get it ready with me will be a little bit more natural because I received this PR package from Merit, a new brand that was just launched this year in January. And they're also sold at Sephora USA and Canada. Don't know about international, I'm not too sure, but I will link it down below. So I'm super excited to give their products a try. It comes in this really cute sort of um, beauty bag. And apparently uh, your first purchase, this is what they'll send you. And then their subsequent purchases, they will send you just like, um, normal packaging but for your very first purchase you will actually get a bag so this is really cool i'm gonna take everything out and then we're gonna go over everything this is their minimalist perfecting complexion skin it's not a concealer it's not a foundation it's both and i love the idea because i normally don't wear foundation in fact i normally don't even wear makeup and I only do that for my videos. So I love the idea of being able to just, um, just quickly put on a face and even out your face without having to do foundation. But usually what I'll do is I look at my face, which looks pretty good with the lighting, but without the lighting, you could see the places that have more pigmentation. So as long as I even out a little bit, I, I don't have to cover my entire face then uh so as long as i even out these guys so that you don't see it because like right now you just see it and then these guys and then to a certain extent just like under eyes i won't necessarily cover all of this but you know i'll just blend it out and so whatever it covers it'll be covered if that makes sense actually i don't think i need the light so let's just do it this way so i'll just pop it over just like the most yeah, just like the most obvious spots. So as you can see, it looks a bit crazy because it's not really my shade. The shade that I'm supposed to get, I think, is sold out. But it's super buttery. That's one thing I can tell you. And just seems very, like glides really good. So I'm going to do a bit on my eyes. One is too light and too cooling and one is too warm. I have this brush and I also took out this brush. I feel like this would be a better choice. Um, so maybe I can try using this. This is a Shiseido. Oh, I think it's working. Oh, it's actually really nice. I don't know if you can tell. I totally get the hype now and it definitely gives you that natural glow too. So let me bring you in closer. It just gives you that natural glow, but it kind of evened out my skin so well. 
that blend it so easily, you just kind of tap it in. All those little bumps that I was talking about, they're still there. But at the very least, from far away, because I didn't put a lot of products, it really evened out my skin tone. Too bad they didn't have it in my, sh my correct shade, but I think I might just kind of mix in um, like a little, maybe a little bit more under my, because I think in real life, my under eye looks a, a little too dark because that color was really the wrong one. It glides like butter. I'm like so impressed. I already love it. And like, like I said, I don't necessarily need to cover all of the freckles, but whatever the product, sort of wherever I tap it, I just blend it in and it just looks really natural. So I'm not even going to bother with these again. I just want to do a little bit more, but using the shade this time, like the lighter shade. And like I said, I just use my Shiseido sort of buffer brush. Tap those area just to kind of add to it, but not take it out too much because that's where all my sort of hyperpigmentation is. Oh my gosh, I love this. And it's so fast. I love a good, fast product. I'm not kidding, I love this. Look how even my skin is. Barbie Morales, small wrist girl myself. So I get you, Amy. The regular Tristan Clou is at the top of my wish list for fine jewelry, but I haven't gotten the chance to try it on. Did you find that the Tristan Clou size okay on your wrists aside from feeling more fragile? Also curious on the up close comparison between the rose gold from Cartier and Hermes. So, um, I guess up close I have these two rings right now so you can see uh, their rose gold shade. I think from afar you can sort of not really tell that there's any difference. I think they're very similar. I want to say that maybe this one... Um, I want to say that Cartier rose gold is slightly more yellow actually. And apparently, the more you wear your items, because I have been wearing this ring non-stop, it's so comfortable. The more you wear your items, especially the Cartier ones, because based on just all the reviews that I've seen, the longer you wear your rose gold Cartier pieces, uh, the more it will oxidize. And when it oxidizes, it actually becomes more yellow. Even if you don't know if you like rose gold or yellow gold more, I feel like if you're not sure and you really like the rose gold, just go with rose gold because over time, the more you wear it, uh, I'm assuming these would be forever pieces for you, it will just turn more yellow anyway. So there's no harm in getting the the rose gold if you like both shades. Uh, when I was trying on the rose gold myself uh, compared to their gold, the if, if, if the two was right beside each other, then I can really tell the difference. And because the two were right next to each other, then I could really tell that I liked the rose gold on my skin tone way more. It just pops a little more, it blends in a little less uh, because I'm quite fair and definitely has more sort of yellow, uh, really cool tone in my, in my skin. So the rose gold being a tad warmer, it's still quite yellow for a rose gold, but it just pops a lot more on my skin tone. So not all rose gold and yellow gold are actually made the same. And in fact, even different pieces of jewelry can sort of have a different shade. Like even when I'm looking at my ring compared to my bracelet right now, I feel like my ring is more yellow, but this is a, a rose gold. So just try it on and see because it's otherwise really hard to judge. Uh, and we all have very different skin tone, um, you know, like as, as similar as you might think that you are to someone uh, based on just video, it's really hard to tell. Oh wow, this is so beautiful. Look at this. Look at the packaging. Perfect black lengthening mascara. This is a tubing mascara, which is the only kind of mascara I'll ever use. My lashes are not super long on its own they are just um uh, just sort of medium length but they do point down like a lot of asians do 
So I'm super excited to try this because this is a tubing mascara and I always just use a tubing mascara even when I uh, put on my magnetic lashes. So this is the wand. Let's try this. So I have to get really close to my mirror. And while I do that, I go to the next question from Olga. Amy, why did you prefer the CDC ring versus the Kelly ring? I'm looking to buy one of them and cannot decide which one. When I revealed this ring, I ended up choosing the CDC ring instead of any other rings that I tried. And it's not that I didn't like the Kelly ring or any of the other rings. It's just that I was looking to buy one ring for this hand in particular on my ring finger. So I feel like the ring that I get because I didn't have this other ring last time, it has to really pop and really stand out. And I felt of all the other ones that I tried, this CDC one really stood out and it really, um, it really just popped the most. And in terms of the design, it's so intricately interesting and just different from anything else that you can get. Uh, I would say the same about the Kelly too. Like I would say that the Kelly ring is also really intricate and beautiful, but it's just that when I compared the CDC against the Kelly um, alone, it just didn't pop as much. Having said that, I still like the, the Kelly ring a lot. Um, actually, I forgot to curl my lashes. But I think you can already tell the difference. So far, I'm really liking the formula. It's just really like the brush. This brush is has short enough bristles that I don't feel like I mess up so bad. I'm usually not super good at makeup. My advice to you is to really try everything on when you're there and might as well because just take your time I guess unless you're buying online the thing is I do still really like the Kelly ring because I do think that the Kelly ring is a really cute design it's giving me the volume and the length and I love a good tubing mascara because I love to be able to just wash it with warm water when I'm taking my shower uh, I don't really use any sort of extra makeup remover which is why I keep my makeup very light and natural and usually with natural products it washes off very easily with water and your just your regular skin cleanser so normally what I would do is I would actually use a brow powder and I will also use the stencil so this is really old but I still am using that color right there um, it's kind of like a lighter brown and then I do the tail with this darker brown but I do use uh, part of this stencil to do the shape and then I'll fill it in myself so today I suppose we will try this or do I do the powder and then this I think it's overkill if I do both and if I'm just trying to get ready fast like I said, uh, not a full, full face, but just get ready to sort of go out. I feel like I'll just try this. Oh, I almost put it on my eyes. Okay, like I said, I don't really, because I have pretty full brows, it's just that they're not even, like the color where it gets concentrated is not even on both sides. So I don't want to overdo my brows. I don't even know how to do it because I normally don't use this. I want to try it out. Let's see. How is it? I think I like it because it's so fast. Instead of even using the stencil, I'm just sort of brushing my own brows and just adding more intensity where I need it because, like I said, my brows are full but just not the same color across the board.
How does this look? I think it looks good. I think I like it. It's already, it's already making my brows sort of fuller, like just more even everywhere. Cause it's just the way it grows, right? I do have hair here, but it's just that they're like the finer hair. I like it. And this brown color is perfect. It's not too dark. So it's not gonna overpower my, my brows. It's not gonna make them black is why I chose this color because I do usually go with the, like a light brown anyway so let's see if I can match this side I don't want to go too crazy how do I how do I do my right left side I'm right-handed I love the brow product. It's it's so natural and it um it doesn't deposit too much product because I have tried other brow um brow is it do you call this brow gel? Anyway, it's so beautiful. And literally, because I like I said, I already have full brows except that the color of the hair is not even on both sides. Uh just some some of the finer hairs instead here, so that's why it doesn't appear as dark. Oh my gosh, I love this. Am I seeing... This is a repurchase. The brow and this uh, minimalist... I want to say the words properly. The minimalist perfecting complexion stick and this brow volumizing pomade is absolutely my favorite right now is a repurchase uh, except i just have to get the right color in this so what's left is cheeks and lips and then we are all done for a natural look and in fact i'm so happy that i get to use like play with new products so let's try to go for a new question in fact i forgot to tell you what this is next question by julie i use my Cartier pieces more than my other jewelry pieces they never come off I think they are the best money spent also food for thought I have worn my small shoes to include every single day even sleeping for two years straight and fingers crossed no issues with longevity thank you so much for letting me know I love this kind of feedback um, because like I said when I was shopping this bracelet I liked the Justin Clou. I just wasn't so sure yet because I've never worn a bracelet 24 seven in the past. So this is really my, my first time. And even though I have worn it for how long now, like a week, um, and loving it. And so, uh, definitely I will <laughs> definitely consider the Justin Clou. Uh, but the only thing I was not sure about the Justin Clou, especially when she was putting it on my arm, I guess because she's the one doing the bending versus me trying it on myself. Uh, and because of COVID and everything, I had to put my arm over a glass panel. It's just really awkward. It's not the same shopping experience that I'm sure I would normally get. So I just didn't feel super comfortable even just seeing her, how she bends it on my arm. Maybe if I did it myself and if I handled it myself and I can feel how it feels, myself while it's bending um while putting on my arm then maybe i will feel more comfortable so thank you for the feedback i love that this one is the cheek color in raspberry beret should tell you probably we usually do use this one like i said before i bought this palette by Whaley, which is one of my favorite vlogger. I started watching her a few years ago and she made this palette, so that's her face. She made this palette, so I just kept using it because I sort of ran out. And yes, I'm not a, I'm not a makeup junkie. I just use everything till I hit pan completely like broken, then I buy something new. So I hit pan on my old blush and also my bronzer, which I had for years. So I finally bought something else and I wanted to support my girl, Whaley. 
Uh, so I bought this and I just start using this and I mainly use this as my contour and this as my blush. I do use these other colors. These are highlights, but less so. I just love the combination of these two. But anyway, so usually when you see me in my makeup, that's what I use. But today we will try Merit. And usually I try to go... So with the contour, I usually go from, say, like, top of the year to, like... So if you, if you just draw a straight line from the corner of your mouth to your ear, this is the, the straight line, right? So I usually just go kind of like here. Um, but for blush, I go a bit more apples of the cheek and then I blend it out high. Um, so I think for this, I'll try to do it maybe, maybe higher because it's not really a bronzer. So instead of doing here, because I'm not doing bronzer, I will do it here because it's more a blusher. And I usually stop at, like if I draw a line straight down from the corner of my eyes, I usually stop right here. And then with the blending, I'll just like work out anyway. So let's just try this. I don't want to do too much because I don't know how pigmented it is. In fact, let's just blend it out. Oh, it's nice. It's not too pigmented. Do you guys even see it? <laughs> I think you guys don't see it, but I see it. Um, but I guess that's the problem with um, with all the lighting because it washes out everything. So usually when you do photography or, you know, like wedding and stuff like that, you have to really put way more pigmented than you normally do because it doesn't otherwise show up with all the flashes and the lighting. Okay, I think I put way too much now. Oh my gosh. I put way too much. I'll try to fix that after, but let's try to put some here. You know what I just realized? I put it directly on my cheeks and it's kind of um, taking away a bit of my concealer. I should have used my fingers on the product and put it on my cheeks instead. So next time I will do that instead of doing this straight across on my cheeks, unless I had no concealer or foundation on my face, then I will just do the blusher on top of my uh, on top of my skin, my bare skin. I did a much better job on this side. This 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 side is crazy. Even though it looks really dark on here, but it's actually really natural. It's very blendable. Their highlighter. And this is Kava, which is the color that I picked. And I normally don't wear highlighters. Oh, but I just did this. I should have used my fingers again. Yeah, I usually don't really care so much for highlighters. Maybe I'll put some under my brows. Let's take another question. I think that once you start your fine jewelry journey that you may start finding the Chanel's costume jewelry quite tacky and loud. That's what happened to me. I sold off 90% of my Chanel costume jewelry except for the brooches. Much prefer the refined, elegant look of fine jewelry now. Will I do that? I don't know. I feel like I still love my costume jewelry. And the thing is my costume jewelry, I, um, I, I buy mostly earrings, so I don't have say bangles or rings from costume jewelry because for those i do agree with you that they would be more tacky um i do have the pearl bracelet from chanel and that's definitely one of my favorite i feel like it's so pretty uh but aside from that i feel like i don't think i will i don't think i will sell off my my jewelry like 90 percent of the of the whole collection like you did um I could definitely see that maybe my brooches can go simply because if I already have so much going on and then the earrings, I probably don't need the brooches. Up next, I'm going to try the Merit Tinted Lip Oil. 
it's really pretty actually i feel like with a live oil you just want um kind of like the moisturizing benefit and as well just a, as a tint of color let me go to the next question this is going to be a super long video julia m dear amy i got a birkin offer from the store in a different color than i expected would you say no or would you accept it i might get the offer in light gray but i originally wanted in darker shade at the same time i'm scared of saying no it might not be my first Birkin. Oh my God, it's tough. I feel like I don't have the experience to tell you yet whether I would actually um, say yes or no because I, I haven't really experienced that offer process yet. But I can only imagine. So I'm putting on my, uh, my magnetic lashes. But I can only imagine, although I do have a few colors that I wouldn't mind, I would, I would really just... I guess contemplate on on the spot whether it's still a color that I liked enough to get and the thing is with a lot of things Hermes I feel just from hearing other people's experiences you sometimes just fall in love with it because you do you didn't necessarily know that there was that option to begin with I feel like it really depends on the shade so if it's a neutral and you're after a neutral and it's a neutral that you like, so as long as it's not like too warm or too cool, depending on what color palette you're going for. So for me, I like um, a cooler neutral and I like a black and I like a gray, but more on the cooler tones gray. So there you go, my lashes are on. I feel like without the the magnetic lashes, it really doesn't make my eyes pop as much unless I curl them. But I don't have to curl them if I'm already going to pop on those lashes uh, because it's already enough. Um, it's already lifted enough. And uh, when it's a brand new pair, I would put it on and then I will curl the lashes with my own lashes just to give it that initial curl that matches the shape of my eye and then every time I put it back on the next time it will stay the same shape so here's the finished look nice no makeup makeup look I can definitely tell you favorite product is this the perfecting complexion stick like I said I will link everything down below so this is my favorite product out of this whole line plus this one oh my gosh this is the volumizing pomade for the brows I have it in the brown color. This is a game changer. Literally, my brows are on fleek and I didn't have to use a stencil, whatever, whatever, so fast. Um, I guess I do already have a shape on my brows, so I just follow the shape of my brows and just basically darken the areas that were light. Love, love, love this. It's so good. The, the formula is excellent. Um, the lip oil was really good. I think it's pretty natural on like an everyday basis. I usually just use a lip balm, but I feel like if I want a little bit of a color, then the lip oil is perfect because it's very moisturizing and it gives me that wash of color that's really pretty and natural. The mascara is a beautiful packaging. I like it so far. I will see over time because tubing mascaras are tricky. Over time, they can dry out, but depends if they dry out too much. So I'll have to report back. I think this is super pretty. This is the um, highlighting balm. It's definitely very natural and I normally don't use a highlight but I do feel that it gives me that glow from within but I I also feel like just because my skin is pretty much bare except with this that it also does have that glow because of that reason. Um, the blusher I don't love because it's a cream product and I feel like cream on cream it does take off some of that perfecting complexion stick product maybe i just had the powder but i normally also don't powder because it's still kind of not hot yet here and i do have drier skin thank you so much for watching if you're brand new to my channel i'd love to have you back please consider subscribing and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye